And of course, if we're going to talk about giving these blocks, we're going to have to talk about the sensory innervation to the oral cavity. This is the, uh, the part of the nervous system that senses the pain and sends that message to the brain. Uh, that's what we're going to try to block. And the sensory innervation to the oral cavity is all branches of that fifth cranial nerve, that uh, trigeminal nerve. And you'll remember from your anatomy that the trigeminal nerve has three Geminis. Uh, and two of those Geminis are the uh, maxillary branch, the maxillary nerve, and the uh, mandibular nerve. So uh, two-thirds of this trigeminal nerve, the cranial nerve five, uh, are what we're going to be concerned with because these are the nerves that are uh, sensing pain in the mouth and, and transmitting it to the brain. And so I'm sure you have this all uh, burned into your head uh, with all these uh, very long named, uh, let, let's not uh, worry about all those uh, fancy names and branches. Uh, but we're going to concern ourselves with this anatomy, just finding the areas uh, such as here, uh, I'm going to say if we put an anesthetic block here, we're going to be able to block the whole front of the upper jaw. Uh, realize, though, if we want to provide anesthesia analgesia to this uh, back part of the upper jaw or the whole upper jaw on this side, we're going to have to block this nerve back at about this point. Uh, and the same thing on the lower jaw. If we just want to block for these front teeth, maybe we can nip this uh, nerve right here that's providing the uh, analgesia here. Uh, if we really want to block this lower jaw in its entirety, we're going to have to block the nerve uh, back here to uh, affect this whole lower jaw. So that's sort of the concept of these intraoral regional nerve blocks. And um, essentially, there's five of them. There's the, the, the cranial infraorbital, uh, the caudal infraorbital block, the middle mental block, and the caudal mandibular block. And we're going to go through each of these. Uh, there's also a fifth intraoral block, the palatal nerve block, that I would say I kind of rarely perform because I don't think the palatal nerve picks up a whole lot as far as uh, dental and oral surgery. Uh, but it probably gets a little bit, or if maybe you're doing some palatal surgery. Uh, it's just something I'm going to show you.